<laughs> Give us a recap of what just happened the last three months. Trials, Tokyo, ISL, uh, kind of a you know crazy Corona year, but you just you handled it so well. So tell us. Give us a nutshell what you thought about trials in Tokyo. Yeah, the last three months have been insane. Um, I mean, everyone had such a crazy year. And then all of a sudden, I remember being like, wow, the Olympics are postponed, trials are postponed. And then all of a sudden, they like were here. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not like ready for this yet. But I, I had to be in. Um, so trials was definitely super fun because it was like the first like big meet people have been to in a long time the first meet with like spectators and so it was really awesome that we got to have spectators that made a huge difference being like having your family there and friends there and everything so that was really really fun trials is one of my favorite meets ever so definitely cool to be back and um it was definitely different than 16 i mean going in with expectations and um like i feel like a lot more pressure and just different like you know, um, thoughts behind my swimming and also not knowing kind of what was going to happen because of the COVID year. Um, and so it was definitely difficult. It was, it was difficult. I know a lot of people were like, wow, this is like a really weird, tough meet going on. Um, and you know, I, I made it through and that was awesome. And, um, a lot of emotions, not only for myself, but for like my friends who either made it or didn't make it. A lot of people, you know, I knew were either, um, getting on their first Olympic team or like having been on the national team for a long time and not able to make the team this year. So it was, it was a really emotional meet, honestly. Um, and getting through that was really awesome. Having my family there, seeing me make the team again. And um, then off to Tokyo, it was really, really fun. Like it was, it was so much fun. It was one of the best meets, international meets I've ever been to. Um, I personally thought it was way better than 16. And I don't know exactly why, maybe it was because I was, more experienced or kind of knew what to expect or was able to enjoy it more. I think that was what it was is I kind of like let 16 flow by, like fly by and not really pay attention to what was happening. And I feel like 2021, I was, you know, kind of in the moment and just enjoying it more and like realizing like, wow, I'm here again. Like this is awesome and like incredible and just like a lifetime experience. So I was able to just kind of be there and be present. And that was really, really cool. Um, it was a crazy meet. It was a lot of ups and downs for a lot of people. And I had some opportunities to be in spots that I hadn't been before. And, um, I went a best time in both my events, which was really cool. I mean, that doesn't happen that often. And so, um, I was proud of myself for doing that and, you know, getting in both the finals in 16, I didn't make the 50 free final. So being in the final for the 50 was really cool. Um, and getting the opportunity to anchor the medley relay in the final, I only got to do that in prelims in 2016. So that was really cool and a big opportunity for me. So I had a lot, a really different experience than I did in 2016. And I thought it was really awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. And um, it was just like, like I said, just a lot of fun, which I know sounds like kind of cliche, but it, it was, it was just like a blast. Mm -hmm.